And I think this is what a lot of people misunderstand and a lot of people miss, right? The thing that makes Final Fantasy incredible is the fact that every single thing that's added to the game is added for the long haul. Final Fantasy doesn't do short-term content. When they add content, it is always added for the long run. So wh what, what does that mean when you're, um, when you're playing, say, for example, uh, when you're playing an MMO or when you're designing an MMO? It means that you have time to iterate and reiterate on the system. As Pat just said there, the name of the game is Iterative Improvement. Because you know that this system is going to exist for its entirety, for the entire lifespan of the game, you have the opportunity to go every patch and make small improvements to the point where it is now a good system. What Blizzard does so often is because their systems are supposed to be seasonal and therefore needs to be retired after a set amount of time, those systems, by the time they get relatively good, they're retired, right? They're relegated. And then they say, well, you just got the system right. Now you're retiring it. When the system is finally at a place where people are sort of enjoying it, you retire it. And now you start with a new system next expansion, right? Uh, Blizzard needs to get out of that mindset. They need to start moving into the mindset of, hey, we're here. We're enjoying it. Let's play, right? And let's keep playing. Let's keep making things better. Uh, the garrisons, in, pr in principle, in theory, works. There's nothing wrong with garrisons. Uh, Burn, Burn Lotus, thank you for the follow, dude. Really appreciate that. In principle, or in theory, nothing wrong with garrisons. In implementation, everything wrong with garrisons. They should do more with it, right? Um, just like the farm and mist, it could have been updated for each expansion. The farm should never have gone away. The the uh, the garrisons should never have gone away. They should have been. They should have become part of the mainstay of the game, and things should have been designed around them, right? You should have been able to pick up a profession called farmer right and this is a profession alongside your other professions where you have a talent tree that allows you to do more things with the farming and farming should have eventually uh, involved livestock so you can go out into the world and capture deer and put them in your farm and then start farming with the deer right um this new let's talk about what's coming the mount system right the mount creation system that should be built upon next expansion that system should remain but now it should offer even more choices and more mounts that you can build and more battle pits that you can build and eventually breeding systems where you can take two different mounts and breed them together to make a whole new fucking different mount right um and and different battle pits that make brand new battle pits and you will allow for people to continuously play these these systems but also continuously iterate on these systems bring out more content for these systems before you know it right you have a game so chock and block full of content just from old content so when a new expansion launches people are excited for the things that's coming with the farm people are excited for the things that's coming with the mount breeding system people are fucking excited for Torghast on top of being excited for the new expansion right on top of being exciting uh, like being excited for the rest of it at monday mount breeding is sort of you're never gonna have it to the point where people imagine it right and i agree with you you're never gonna have it to the point where you can build completely sort of weird and wonderful creatures to mount yeah in a non-sexual way but you could have it to a point where they're set recipes. So if you take, say, an alligator and the hippo and you breed them, you get sort of a very specific type of creature. And then in order to make it interesting, which is what most games often do, is they'll have different ranks. So if you take a pristine alligator mount and you take a pristine hippo mount and you breed them there's a chance to get a pristine whatever the mix is of those right so at first when you first start out with your mount breeding you sort of figure out all the different recipes if you will and then over time you now you start figuring out how to get the best of each of these mounts and all you do with that is literally just you build a racing track and people can race their fucking mounts if they want, right? Something silly like that. It doesn't affect the world. It doesn't really affect player power. You can ride them in the world, but they're basically the same as everything else. It's just fun, yeah? 
That's all it is. It's just fun. People are just having fun. And why not? It's not going to be for everyone, right? I get it. I'm not going to partake in it unless they introduce mount racing, in which case I will partake in it because chocobo racing is amazing. Um, but never underestimate the power of fun. Like the power of people just spending their days doing something that's fun just because it's fucking fun, right? 